And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Stars taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. We're in store for a Major League debut in this one, Singy. It remains to be seen what kind of career he'll have, but here's step one, and there's a lot of hope and optimism around it. This organization thinks he can be an impact player. And from what I've seen... Just about ready to roll here. Today's starting pitcher, Zach Eflin. Chris, how about a scouting report? Well, last time out, picked up the win, didn't allow a run, pitched extremely well. He doesn't have to be perfect, but if he can give another performance like last time out, his team will be happy. All right, ready to get underway. Here's the center fielder, number 55. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. And now the rookie second baseman, Chen. The other way. That's a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. A couple of singles back to back. That nice job hard. of driving that the pitch the three. other way on a Number line. You know, five. hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now the right fielder, number 25. Swings and misses. <laughs> it's a ball and two strikes. No outs, runners at first and second. Ground ball could be two. Fires to second for one. Back to the pitcher covering in time. It's a double play. The 3-6-1 double play, in my opinion, is one of the toughest plays to make. You've got a pitcher covering first and the middle infielder throwing to a moving target. Everything has to be perfect. And right there, they made it look pretty easy. And now Manny Ramirez. And the 3-1. That one fouled off. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Kicks and deals. That one ripped. And that is gone. A shot to left. Third home run of the season. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 2-0. pitch he wanted to hit spit on some other pitches in this at bat was very patient and it paid off stepping in number 23 the one one that one back up the middle and it gets through batting fit the designated hitter number five number five the next to hit Next pitch is downstairs. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. And he deals. Here goes the runner. Swung on, belted. Siri raging back towards the wall, racing back some more. Leaps and holds it in against the wall. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 2-0 ball game. You're dialed into the show. Back here at the ballpark and pitching in this game, number 46. Chris, what are you looking for from him? It's a tough veteran lineup on the other side, but I'm excited to see what this rookie can do in this one. Bottom of the first, and here's Wander Franco. Obviously That's a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value 
in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Into center, number 55. Sizes this one up, makes a nice run and catch. And a quick out number one. All right, let's take a look at the Rays lineup. Trailing by a couple of runs already, and I'm sure they'd like to erase that deficit quickly. Yeah, you don't want to let this deficit get into your head and you're trying to just make up the difference with one swing and you really don't have the base runners on. You've got to contribute, keep the line moving, and all of a sudden you have a big inning, everything shifts and you find yourself in the driver's seat. There's a swing and a drive. That one is back to the warning track, makes the catch. That is cool. The first base Yandy Diaz. Yandy Diaz now. He's got the power but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. And a 1-1. Swing and a miss as he was out front. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Pena drifts towards it, puts the squeeze on it, and that is that. Nothing doing for Tampa. They trail things here, 2-0. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And now the catcher comes up to hit. Francisco Pena. Pena. 1-1 one, one now. Bounced out to short. And he beats the throw. He's safe. Tough play on a nice backhand stop. Had to be perfect with the exchange and throw to get the out. But it looked like he had to dig in there a little deeper, like he was trying to get a split finger grip or something. Close play, but that little extra time on the transfer made all the difference. Here's the rookie third baseman. Chang went deep in the ball game last night. Runner. Runner on the go. Out to short. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Batting up. The shortstop. Number 14. Next to hit, Wang. Eflin throws over. Oh, Pena geez. back in on a dive. Pena, the runner at second with one away. That's ripped. Base hit. Marco fires it to the plate, but it's offline. And they're up by three. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that dot. So the batting order turns over. Next to hit, number 55. He's won the kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. Safe at second, and that was not close. Now batter, number 13. So up next, Chen. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. Here's a 1-1. One, one. And now 2-1 two two. One after that missed inside. Two ball, one strike. Runner at second, two down. Two down Liner, base hit. Wang, around third. He will score, and it's 4-0. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Now it's the right fielder, number 25. He's 0 for 1. After the move to first, Chen back on a dive. Ball to strike, the pitch. 
down the line towards the corner. The Rosarena after it. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. That is the inning. They get two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. Chinese Taipei out front, four to nothing. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Here's a big power threat. Brandon Lau. The one two. Good job to fight that one off. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. A tailing pitch. away from the hitter. Lowing away hit. with some good oh, action at the end. You know, even oh, if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. I tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. And it falls. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Batting fifth. The third baseman. Man at first, Isaac Brady's now. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. On the ground, two ball. Steps on the bag for one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We played two full. The Stars lead it four to nothing. Back now in Tampa Bay, here's the left fielder, Manny Ramirez. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on-base slugging, too. Up the middle, a dive, he's got it, and that's a great play for the out. Well, this is obviously a tremendous play, but for me, it starts with a well-broken-in glove. To have the confidence to go down, knowing that ball is going to be right in the pocket, so you've got a clean transfer, pop back up to the feet, and fire across the diamond. Outstanding job. Number 23, now at the plate. One for one with a single so far. And another ball. That's a laser base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. And now here is number five. Glide out his first time. In the air, out towards right center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. The catcher, number four, Francisco Pena. Now the catcher up to hit, Francisco Pena. Reached on an infield single his first time. This to third. They get the force, and that'll do it. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. We head now to the home half of inning number three. Chinese Taipei have the lead, four to nothing. Back here at the ballpark, here's here Manuel the Margot. Red. The right fielder. Manuel. Manuel. The 1-1. One, one. In there at the knees for a strike. That's the first out. Christian Bethencourt digs in now. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. 
swing and a miss. And it's one and two. And that one just missed off the outside edge. It's a good take. And here it comes. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table and you can't make contact. And now it's Jose Siri. Good power, not great in the OBP department. Got him looking. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Back here at Tropicana Field, here's the third baseman, Chang. Number 49. The pitch. And that one is inside. You know, this group of hitters doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. And here's a stat for you, Boo. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. Franco on to first, and one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. And the batter now, Wang. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Not Two even more. close there. Two balls and a strike. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. Out towards right center field. Margot pulls it in for the out. And there's two down. Back to the top of the lineup. Number, number 55, 55 getting ready to hit. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. On the ground, right side. And that chance handled. On the run, throw to first. And that is that. So they go quietly there to the bottom of inning number four now. The Stars on top four to nothing. Bottom four. And the batter will be the shortstop. Wander Franco. Not shortstop. Well struck left field. And it's off the wall. The throw in. And he'll pull into second safely. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Now it's Randy Arozarena. Almost drove one out of here last time up. Wide out to the warning track. The pitch. Fought off foul. Well, these Rays just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Number Top three, of the strike two. zone. We're seeing more Young fastballs three. in that location. Yeah. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And now the lefty to the right side. And there's a hit. Franco on his way home. Here's the throw to the plate. And he's in there. And a run comes in to score. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Lau at the plate. Went down on strikes his first time through.
One, two now. Battling here as he fouls it away. Left hand hitter waits. Misses. No, two balls, two strikes. Really nice slider right there, sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. Swings here and blasts one left field, and it's gone. Brandon Lau goes the other way with it, and they're chipping away. It's 4-3. Excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Harold Ramirez at the dish. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. Up the middle, Wang. Gets it to first, now two away. Now batting, third baseman, he's tough. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Isaac Paredes. He hit it to a double play his first time up. Swing and a ball popped up. And that is the third out of the inning. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now a 4-3 ball game. It's Major League Baseball and it's on the show. New inning getting started. Digging in, Chen. Well, after putting up a nice the inning on offense, got some runs Number across, 14. this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. In the dirt. Up with it, fires to first. In time to get him, one away in the strikeout. Well, obviously that was nowhere near the strike zone by the time it got to the plate. And people at home watching are thinking, what's he swinging at? But I'll tell you, some of the break guys snap off these days is just devastating. It can be so tough to recognize where a pitch like that's going to end up. Now here is number 25. In the air, right field. Margot puts it away. And that quickly, two away. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Manny Ramirez. He's already homered in this game. Next offering misses, ball two. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. On a line, base hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his no bat stays Number in the zone three. on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Throw is wide. He's off the bag. Run scores, and this inning continues. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. There comes a skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. Zach Eflin gives way, and this is one he'd like to forget. Back with a new arm after this. Jose Ruiz gets the call from the pen. And that's a big potential run out there at second as he comes in trying to keep the deficit where it is. For the infielders, they got to be thinking about keeping the ball from getting by them into the out. field any way they can. Oh, 
Now, number five. Next pitch is outside. Two ball, one strike. Man on second, two down. Lined in the left center, base hit. Siri throws to second. Not in time. He's safe as a run scores. He was all over that one. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Here's the catcher, Francisco Pena. One for two. And there's a fly ball deep right field. That's back there. And gone! Francisco Pena with his first major league home run. A special moment in his young career. And who knows, maybe that'll open the floodgates for him. Yeah, getting that out of the way can be a big confidence booster. It feels like a huge weight just been taken off your back. You can go up there with a lot less pressure on you now, and I wouldn't be surprised if he gets hot for a little while. What do you remember about your first career homer, Chris? Well, I remember it was off of Omar Olivares, and you know, being there in Los Angeles against the Angels, just a tremendous day, great ballpark, and a special moment for sure. Now the third baseman, Chang. The 1-1. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Lau puts the squeeze on that one, and that is that. Four runs in the inning, four hits, no errors, and nobody left on. Home half of the fifth coming up. Chinese Taipei have the advantage, 8-3. And welcome back. And, and now the right fielder, the Manuel Reds. Margot. The right fielder, Manuel Margot. Number 44 takes over on the mound. On for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. Here's a one-two. In the dirt, throw to first, gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Now the designated hitter. Harold Ramirez, next to hit for the Rays. One and two now. And that's downstairs and outside. Down on strikes. Back to back strikeouts. So it's their last chance in this one. Isaac Paredes next to hit for the Rays. The wind of the pitch. Center field. Number 55. Settles under it. That's the ball game. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. And this one ends with the score 8-5. to five. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.
Fans are final line score. First for the victorious visiting team, eight runs on 15 hits. No errors, they left seven men on base. For the Rays, five runs, six hits, no errors, they left two men on base. Time of the ball game, 2.15. 